Okay, today I want to download and install CM Simple. So first I need to go to the CM Simple website. cmsimple.org. Um, it's originally from Denmark, so we need to switch to English here. I click on downloads and I want the normal CM simple version so I click here and this is where you download the latest version of CM simple I click on it I save the file uh, the download has completed okay and here it is okay now we got one zip file one compressed file with a few hundred files inside so we need to unzip it first so if you're on a Uclan machine right click and click on extract all um, decide what folder the files should be unzipped into that's good enough so there, there are 500 files that are gonna be unzipped and in that folder we got another folder now and this is where all our files are all those files make up the CM simple content management systems uh, so when people visit the website the landing page will be this index page a PHP file and there are other folders that that are important there's a folder for CSS there's a folder for content there's a folder for plugins okay I want to upload this folder now to my area on BIM server 2 at the moment it has a funny name though uh, funny in a sense that we mix upper and lower case and when people visit websites they're not normally used to um, paying attention to spelling uh, files in folders with upper and lower case characters so I want to rename it uh, I, I could also upload it first and rename it later but I'm gonna rename it now and I just call it CM simple 46 because it's version 4.6 okay next I need to upload this folder with all the 500 files uh, to my area on bimserver2.com so I need to start FileZilla so I'll go to FileZilla I'll go to Site Manager and I connect to the server and here on the right side you see you see your area on bimserver2.com there should only be one folder with uh, the ending bimserver2.com and only that folder is accessible through the web uh, for your visitors in a web browser so if your name is Arthur Dent that folder should be called adent.bimserver2.com in my case I've got several accounts and I want to upload this folder to the CMS domain but in your case there should only be one bimserver2.com folder so go into that folder and then upload your CM simple folder you can see now that there are all the files that make up the CMS under the queued files tab there are successful transfers that should slowly count up one by one and they are failed transfers so if anything goes wrong with my files um, the failed transfer counter will go up and we'll have to restart the files that are in the failed transferred uh, tab you can speed things up I'll show you how if you click on edit settings transfers you can have in FileZilla you can have up to 10 simultaneous transfers so that will speed things up uh, it will make it more likely that there will be an error message though there's also a maximum number of connections um, there are two ways of connecting to the server there's FTP and SFTP um, the SFTP connection is secure and there's no limit but if we have a lot of students let's say you know, 50 students working and they all use the FTP connection and they use 
lots of simultaneous transfers. We hit the maximum limit of transfers on the server pretty soon. So usually it only makes sense to increase this number if you connect using SFTP. If you connect using FTP and other students use the server at the same time, you might run into problems. But in my case, it was good um, that I didn't use SFTP because I wanted to demonstrate the failed transfers here. Uh, they are more likely to occur with the FTP connection. So if you've got any failed transfers here, click on uh, select all of the files. So uh, Control A or Command A depending on your operating system. Right click, click on Reset and the Queue All. So the files are in your queued files tab now. Now click on Process Queue and yeah, it will send the rest of the files over. And now all the files are in this folder called cmsimple46. Okay, let's visit our website. So cms server2.com. Uh, when you visit your website, it should be your name. You know, let's say Arthur Dent should be adent.bimserver2.com. Otherwise, you're looking at my installation, but you want to look at your own installation. Okay, here is our CM Simple installation. Yeah. We can put our own logo here. We've got a simple. Um, page here, we've got a menu here, that means we can go to other areas, there, there are sub-menus, up to three levels deep, and if you want to log in, there's a log in button here at the bottom, uh, username is optional, so you just need to type in the password, so there is a default password. And I think one of your first tasks might be um, to figure out what the default password is. And once you logged on, you change it and you pick a better password. Okay, I've got a better password now. Welcome to... Um, I need to change my keyboard driver. Okay. Uh, okay. I save this. Okay. What do we have here? View mode. Uh, now I'm looking at the web page again from the point of view of a visitor. If I want to log on, I can log on again. My new password now. We've got a Visivic editor here. Visivic means what you see is what you get. So I can change things. Let's say uh, I want to have this word in bold. Uh, and I, I select it, I click on bold, and I can immediately see how the page is going to look after I've changed it. Um, so how does CM Simple work? We basically have one big HTML file, and uh, in the past we looked at headings. There's a HTML tag for a heading. And there's a heading 1, h1. Um, that's the biggest type of heading. There's H2, H3, H4, and so on. And what happens with CM Simple is that we have one long uh, HTML file, and the PHP script from CM Simple will just look at this HTML file and it will look at all the different headings. And all the headings that are H1 headings there'll be the main menu levels here. And if you've got a H2 
heading under uh, h1 that will be uh, stay on this page that will be um that will be a sub heading uh, let's save this page yeah to see the delete is uh, bold now let's go to view mode yeah delete is bold now so the, uh, in the html document there would be uh, a h1 heading called menu levels and headings and under that there would be an h2 heading called menu level 2 page 1 and so on so if you want to uh, create a new heading all you need to do is you need to create a, a heading according to uh, to the kind of menu level you want so let's say I want a new oh come on I want a new menu here between welcome to CM simple and menu levels and headings that means I can either put a new h1 heading at the bottom of this page or I can put a new h1 heading at the top of of that page okay so let's say our web page is about um, selling cakes We are selling nice cakes uh, and I want this to be a heading yeah. I say this is gonna be a h1 page I save it uh, and this heading now became its own page uh, I want a sub um, I want a subheading Cream cakes. A special offer. Fluffy cakes. H2 H2 I save it uh, I got subheadings now so experiment around try to um, yeah, create some menus try to get rid of some of the menus you don't want let's say I don't want news one I can just downgrade it to be normal paragraph yeah, so it now just appears where is it? ah yeah, here it now just appears here uh, let's have a look. Can we see the files? Um, see them simple. Uh, content. So. Uh, there's our content file. View edit. So your, the, the whole page is in this file. And CM Simple will basically just go and look for all the H1 headings. Uh, we'll make them into menus on the left. Uh, another H1 heading that will be a menu on the left, H2 heading that will be a sub menu, and so on. And it will create the structure from this content page. And it will then, let's go back, it will then mix the look of the page with whatever. A template you're using. Yeah. You can install plugins for additional functionality. Let's say you, you need a calendar or something like that. And you can install different templates and that will change the look of your page immediately. Um, yeah. You can use uh, images in your CMS. 
let's go to the template settings yeah, we can change it if we have some um, knowledge of of HTML we can go to the CMS settings so there's only one template installed at the moment if I had another template installed I could just change the look of the page immediately so I mean CM simple the, the big advantage is that you don't need a database in the background let's have a look at an example uh, is it the ukulele society or something like that society um, I don't know whether that will uh, I think it's this one yeah yeah so that's a CM simple page we got church form be here yay um, uh, we've got a menu we've got sub menus so that's a h1 heading it's a h2 heading that's a h3 heading if you want more headings i think by default uh, the system doesn't accommodate that but uh, the good news is it's a very simple system and unless you got a huge massive site uh, this might just be good enough for whatever purpose you have but if, if you want something more complex you'll have to probably go with one of the bigger CMS that need a database in the background um, there are similar systems out there that are XML based but I think in terms of simplicity and um, ease of use CM simple is quite straightforward okay 